Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another great interview series. My name is Meher. I'm from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege to interview Bill Baker, and again, from Vancouver, BC. Hi, Bill. How are you doing? Good. Thanks. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for being here. So I'm Bill sorry. is a storyteller, organizational brand storytelling consultant, and public speaker. Throughout his life, he's seen how powerful stories could be in connecting people to ideas, to each other, and to a vision of the future they want to make real. And he also founded DB and Co to help companies build brand strategies for human nature. So Bill, my first question for you is why storytelling is so much important these days and how can job seekers use it in their interviews? Well, first of all, I think storytelling is important these days, but storytelling has always been important ever since we've been communicating to each other mm -hmm. or gesturing in front of a fire or drawing on cave walls. We've been telling stories with each other to share ideas, to make sense of the world around us, but also to come together with other people to accomplish great things. And so storytelling has always been a part of our humanity and the way that we most readily and naturally communicate as social interconnected human beings. Mm -hmm. It's only been maybe in about the last eight to 10 years that organizations and individuals have started finally recognizing and leveraging that power. Yes. And in interview situations in particular, storytelling is a great way for you as an interviewee to let the interviewer know more about you, not just as a professional, but as a person. Yeah. One way to think about it is probably, and you know this, probably one of the most common, if not the most common interview questions is, tell me about a time when, dot, dot, dot. Yeah. And yeah. one of the best ways to answer that is with a story. Because when someone, an interviewer, is asking you an open-ended question like that, what they're looking to do is to get to know you better, not just who you are and what you've done, but yeah. what you believe in, what makes you tick. And they're asking you to recount an experience where you learned something profound that has affected you yeah. as a professional and as a person. And one of the best ways to answer that question is with a story. Yeah. And do you think that knowing yourself is important before telling a story? Yeah, you have to, for me, when I work with people and help them figure out how to use storytelling specifically in interviews, one of the things that you have to do first is start to think about yourself as a person, as a professional, almost thinking about yourself as a brand yeah. and asking yourself, what is important to me? What gets me out of bed every day? What are the things that I hold dear? What am mm -hmm. I most proud of? What's yeah. the difference I'm trying to make in the world or in people's lives? These yeah. are bigger, loftier, kind of more philosophical areas. But when people are interviewing you, they want to know some information, but they also want to get some insight into who you are and how you're going to show up. Yeah, those are great tips. Thank you, Bill. For, for the audience watching for the first time, I'm going to ask Bill a couple of questions during this week, and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So you'll be like a journey with us, like a story. We're going to tell stories every day. And you can like all of them, share, leave comments, and tune in next time for another great question with Bill.